What's up, gamers? This is a slightly different format kind of video. Just uh, like, you know, a bit of a playthrough of a quest with some commentary just to try and, you know, hopefully teach people some stuff about the game, um, focus on like what I'm doing wrong and what I'm trying to do in the quest and what I'm trying to achieve and how important tanks are. So anyway, if you like this one, hit us up with a like. Maybe even a, a subscribe if you're feeling generous. Yeah, um, leave a comment for how I can get better or what kind of stuff you'd like to see. Yeah, cheers, boys. Enjoy. Um, I thought I might try and see how this build works in R10 with a group. However, the group isn't perfect. But this build, this this video will hopefully highlight how important a tank is in Reaper content and like how I can position myself to try and be effective. Hopefully not die, hopefully kill lots of mobs so the tank survives. Um, and manage aggro, manage positioning and try and efficiently use my skills and boosts. That's um... Let's find out. Oh. Let's go, let's go. Everyone's a bit nervous. No healer. Well, I guess now I can heal. Okay. He's stacking up the mobs on himself. Then I can stun them. And start just trying to tear through them as fast as I can. Try to move out of the way of any of the other mobs that are coming for me that aren't aggro on the boss. Oh shit. Um. Gets me a heal, what a legend. Alright. Let them go in first. Manage the mobs. I'll step in now. Try and hit this big stun. All of them, hit them with a the cleave. Kill a few. Okay, someone can search here, we can go through. My search is only 32. I think on Rippy this needs to be like a 50? 50, 50 search, is that right? Oh, maybe not. I think it's highly unlikely I can kill these scorpions on my own without the tank. Or is it a spare? So the, the spare reaper's gonna make their saves high, let's see. Yeah, I can't do it. There's no way. So on my own, I just I just can't. I just can't kill them. Because I don't have, like, yeah, just take too much damage. So that kind of shows like, how important having a tank is. Things are, in our team, you know, they're designed to like be able to one-shot you, basically. So the tank is obviously designed to not die in one shot. It makes everything easy. And I know people just say, oh, run with six casters, which is a great argument. But even still, maybe run with five casters and just one tank. Just to manage the mobs. And even when the mobs are managed, you can say that they all stack up on the tank and it makes them easy to manage and kill fast um, anyway anyway I, I'm dead forever I guess quickly rebuff oops there's doom here that's cool oops we did that wrong well, don't kill the vengeance Jesus look out for that circle Pay attention to what you're doing. Someone cc the mobs. That's nice. The raven. Kill this idiot so he doesn't kill my team. See how he's blinded? Blinding is really strong on plants. Try to stay behind this fucking thing. Oh, get out of that circle. Shit. See the tank managing it now. Let's try and help him out. As fast as we can. You can be click, 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 clicking. Click, 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 click. Because when you like left click, it attacks a little bit faster than if you just hold down your left click button. So that's an interesting little tip there. Okay, that guy's dead. Kill the vengeance out of that circle. Well done. And I, like that was all because of this tank. I'm really impressed by his work. Good stuff, mate. Croy, shout out, bud. Doing good work there. All right. Let's see if we can survive this end fight here. This boss, I tank get it. Perfect, step in, use my short term boost, and go. Raven's coming in, try to stun them all at once. Bit of lag. <laughs> Maybe my PC can't handle the game. Perfect. Check the kill count. Feels good. And that's that's it. Like 
the tank, while not carrying the group, is basically, in my opinion, carrying the group, like by giving us the opportunity to survive long enough to kill mobs because he's managing the mobs, right? So that, that's also the DPS in R10 on this build. I, I'm happy with it. I thought, I thought single target would kind of be annoying, and so I took whirlwind. And the whirlwind animation with the shift of hand wraps is kind of awkward, and you do like lose your APM or attacks per minute, not actions per minute, but attacks. Um, but because it does a pretty good AOE damage, it's not so bad. Um, yeah, that's sick. Cool. Let's do another one. All right, all right, all right. A slightly wider selection of mobs in this quest, I guess. There's a couple of constructs and stuff, and they always make things a little bit more difficult. See the tank in Timbed on the mobs? Champion. Makes it easy. And I'll actually use my rage now. Oops. Try to power surge before you rage. The Doom is here. Jump on that as fast as we can. Kill it. Use all your boosts. Rip through it. Sweet. He took a lot of damage there. Thank God there's an alchemist to heal him. Whoa, hello. I don't know how that's going to look in the recording, but uh, maybe it's my computer lagging, I'm not sure. Okay, we're just going to do it the quick way. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck happened there? Oh my god, I don't know where I am. Oh, I don't have true seeing. Oh my god, I need to change my gear. Ah, oh, well. I'll get a scroll. Probably scroll true seeing, I guess. A bit of CC from one of the rangers. It's really cool, like, obviously. Controls the mob, takes pressure off the tank. That's fucking teamwork, boys. Love a bit of teamwork. Here we go. Fuck it. Too lazy to chase mobs. Okay. That was my bad, I guess. Alright. Sweet. Shout out to the tank. Made that fight trivial. Let's get some reaper gear here. Nothing. Don't you? 